Hey all guys and girls, I am my school peer of my Tendo 64 and joining me for today is my bro, Jack. So Jack, come and say hello. Hello everyone. Hello, hello. So, this is our Let's Talk About video where we talk about various topics in the Nintendo gaming community. So, why don't you, Jack, tell us what you'd like to talk about today. Well, today, we will be talking about... Fire Emblem on the mobile phone, because as we know, Nintendo have teamed up with Dina to do Fire Bats. We've already got Matomo. In full, we have Animal Crossing, and we have Fire Emblem coming. And today, I really want to know what would make the Fire Emblem game work, and what wouldn't. Okay, okay. So, Fire Emblem and Animal Crossing, obviously, we'll talk about Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem is coming to the to mobile so to speak but we don't quite know in what kind of format now i personally even though you know i run a nintendo uh website about news reviews and personal reviews i've never actually experienced a fire emblem game i've never had the ch ch chance to um and the reason is because i'm a home console gamer more than a handheld i've never had the real opportunity to to play fire emblem so maybe you can enlighten us well, unlike you, I actually have played one Fire Emblem game, so I'm not going to make it out like I'm an expert or nothing, because I'm not. But I have re read into Fire Emblem, okay. so I do know about the last few games that have been done. They're sort of like building a formula now in the direction they want to go in. But it's, uh, there are certain things in the game that I think would work, and some I don't. Obviously, like One of the biggest things in the current game, and I believe it was in the last one, Awakening as well, you could marry your character off and have children. Personally, although I can see the appeal of having it in the 3DS game, I would say for the mobile one, no, ditch it. It's an unnecessary part on the side, as is the actual animations in the battle. You know, when I played on the 3DS, I liked seeing the animations. It was good. It was don't get me wrong, they were good. But I actually skipped them most of the time for at least half the game. I had it just take on skip. That way, I can have a faster experience to get from the level because although the levels themselves aren't too grand and too large or too massive. If you're playing this on a mobile phone, you have even less time than a handheld platform. You, know, you want to be able to do the levels within a couple of minutes. Well, you know, that, and that have the levels true. themselves be good. That is true. I mean, let's face it, if you look at games, uh, the most popular games on it, like Plants vs. Zombies, Angry Birds, uh, Candy Crush Saga, they're levels which are completed in, say, like 30 seconds or so, or a minute. Or you know, extend it two minutes. Uh, so you don't really the mobile games. You don't have a lot of time to uh, invest into it in long periods of time. Um, the exception, obviously, is Pokemon Go, which we'll get into in a, another video. Um, video. Yeah, because you are constantly on that phone looking around for things in real life. Whereas in Fire Emblem or this mobile game, Fire Emblem um, might not you know, incorporate things like augmented reality, unless you are the, the fighter and you're going to go out and kill other augmented characters or something like that. I don't know. To be fair, to be fair, the way I see it, I see Fire Emblem pretty much being a, a mobile version of the game we got at the moment. You know, I think it is going to have animated scenes or nowhere near as grandiose. I think they can actually cut down. They'll probably have the same sort of music going. But battle animations, honestly, do without it because it's just extra data on the save file that you don't need, you know, i.e. more data on your phone. You get rid of those animations in the battle, you can actually complete the battle sooner. And some people might argue, well, what if you just have a skip function? No, because that still involves having the file, the data there. I would just say no battle animation, that way you complete the level sooner. You can have like the building relationships at your home base, like in Conquest and Fates and Revolution have, that's fine. A lot of the stuff that's in the likes of Fates and the latest three is fine, but ditch the marriage. Ditch the whole visiting other people's places, the other kingdoms, and ditch battle animation, because that way you ensure it to be a faster game, you know, for more fast-paced action, you know, as it was. You know. Keep it as pretty much as it is, but just do away with the extras to make it more of a mobile game that will be fully flowing and 
get into the action a lot sooner so you can play you can save and like stuff like building your little kingdom at home you can do that when you're at home and you actually got some extra time and energy to put the focus in it so if you're you know waiting for the bus and you're doing a level the last thing you want to do is it being the type of level you can't save you know if you can save halfway through that's fine like you can in the games but usually in mobile games you can't save halfway through you got to save at the end of that type of level so you want the levels you can do within five minutes or something that you can actually pause so say your train comes in you can actually get on the train or whatever and then going off and you can resume that's what's needed well there is um there's two ways that they can go with this i mean you're you're saying about it being a very large game now the thing is um, if they have the cutscenes and stuff like that, true, it'll make the file size larger. But that depends on whether it is server-based or internally based on the phone, whether it's internal memory on the phone. Now, if it's internal memory, yeah, that's going to take up more space. That's, uh, that's, that's a given. But if it's server-based, then every, all that memory, most of it, is actually on the, the servers rather than on the phone. But what it will do is then rack up your data plan, because you'll be using yeah. megabytes, for, for example, uh, and kilobytes and megabytes to, to watch the, the cutscenes. So people might still be inclined to, you know, skip them, because not so much because they don't want to watch them, but because it is costing them megabytes, which they could be using to actually play the game. But no, the, the way I see it, the way to make this fire in the game work is make it fast, make it a fast play action, you know. The story doesn't have to be overly grand or anything. It doesn't have to be seen in the real recent games. No, it can just literally be about just armies going to war against each other and you know, just leave it at that. That way, you can constantly build on it by doing new maps, new stages, like the DLC we get. We currently can get like, with these new maps and stuff, stages and all You can have that. That's fine because that will tie in, you know. But no, I think for the mobile version to work best, you want to. Fast. It doesn't have to have the great story. It just wants speed. It wants the music from the before, and maybe like a Fire Emblem All Stars. You know, all the best characters from all the games. Boom! In this action adventure, that will go down. That, that's how I see the game should be because it will work that way. You know, they want to do something grand later down the line. That's fine. You bring out something like this. It's a good starting platform and that will impress people. They will like it. You know, the fans will be like. Well, this reminds me of the more older Fire Emblem games, which is what got me started playing in the first place. It's what I want. So that's how I feel about it. Okay. That's okay. Well, that is some very, very, very good stuff there, bro. Um, so, as a final thought, what would you, what would you, you know, what do you think? Okay. I, for the game, I. I think a Fire Emblem's game on a mobile device would work because there are many ways that you can actually do it and make it work. But I just think Nintendo should actually be practical with it. I mean, given this how Matoma was the first D in the game already out, it doesn't really matter how much they put into this game because even little would far, ex uh, you know, far shine Matoma. Yeah. Yeah, a minimal effort on this with just a fast pack action adventure would just be a total favourite among. Nintendo fans and mobile. Of course. But it's whether it's got the fan base there, so to speak. Now, obviously, for if you look like Mario or The Legend of Zelda, it's already got millions of people there ready to just jump on, or jump on the bandwagon for a mobile game. But Fire Emblem, even though it, has got, it also has got millions of fans, does it have enough fans that would actually play the mobile game as well, or are they too hardcore that they would stick with the 3DS version? I can see at least half of the gamers, of the fans from Fire Emblem playing this game, but I also see non-fans playing it, as in general Nintendo gamers looking for St. New. They're going to be the ones who play this more. And then, like with Pokemon Go, where suddenly the Pokemon's got more fans around the world, and these people buy 3DS's modern Pokemon games. I think it's going to do the same there. This is going to actually appeal more to the non Fire Emblem fans who only have phones and not quite a Nintendo and it's going to pull them in. I thought that they might Because if you notice what the NX is about, it's about not the hardcore games but getting the general gamers and the mobile games and pulling them in. So I think this is going to be one of those games that do that. It's to create fans, 
not to appeal to the fans over there. That's just they want to play it. They can. They just to pull more in to get more to the home console and the 3DS. So that's what I see this game doing. Okay. Fire, Fire emblems is for everyone, not just for that. <laughs> Fire emblems for everyone, not just the fans. Well, yeah. guys and girls, that's enough of me. I'm um, a uh, very, very bad scene. Thank you very much for watching this video, and thank you, Jake, for joining us for this video. So let's give a big wave uh, to everybody uh, at home watching this. Thank you very much, guys, and until next time, keep on gaming.